9. If the dead are not raised at all, what do people mean by being baptized for the dead? If the dead aren't ever raised from the dead, why are people baptized on their behalf? Paul is not saying that we, Christians who believe in the resurrection, practice baptism for the dead, but that people, those who deny the resurrection, actually practice it. The people practicing baptism for the dead were not Christians, but those who deny a resurrection. Perhaps the most critical issue with baptism for the dead is that it directly contradicts what the Bible teaches about death, baptism, salvation, and proxy work. First, baptism is not a prerequisite for eternal life. The Bible tells us exactly what is necessary for a person to be saved. Jesus was once asked, what must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The whole Bible is clear about this point. Our works, even those commanded by scripture, like baptism, are not prerequisites for salvation. We are saved by grace through faith, not by works. It is not the one who gets baptized, but the one who believes who has eternal life.